Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This here is Porty's Garage, home of DIY, mostly geared to automotive, but here at Mix, you just never know what you're gonna get. So today we are doing another radio review. It's gonna be Baofang time again. It was sent by Radiodity, a Baofang GT5R Pro. So I've got that sitting on the table here, and we are gonna compare it to the UV5R. So we'll take a look at some specs, some equipment. I know there's different packages you can get, but I want to thank Radiodity for sending this so we can uh, give you just a quick review of the GT5R Pro from Baofang. Let me get the camera turned around here and let's start looking at these Baofangs. All right, so before we get into uh, close-ups of the radio and some of the specs, just want to show you what's in the standard package here. So uh, sent from Radiodity was the GT uh, 5R Pro. With the manual, it's got the desktop charging, it's got the belt clip, wrist strap, the Secret Service earbuds there, and a programming cable. Uh, that is very similar to the one I bought, the UV5R. It's got the uh, programming cable, wrist strap. My uh, package, I did get the spare battery. I'm sure you could do that. Is desktop charging. The uh, Secret Service earbud. Um, I did buy a uh, shoulder mic that you can connect into headsets so you can go hands free and silent. So, uh, whatever you're using that for out in the woods, paintball or uh, SHTF, it'd be good for that. So, that's just general packages. I'm sure there are many configurations double radios, uh, long antennas, short antennas, uh, second batteries, that kind of stuff. So, let me get things turned around here and start looking at the the radios all right we've got both radios sitting here you can see this is the gt 5r pro right here this is the uv 5r very similar i did program both of them they both have the side comms port here that you can use for programming so we use the chirp software to program these channel mode so you can see i've got the names instead of frequencies on there this one, I only have the name listed on the top. I'm gonna to go through the menu and show you how to change from frequency to name here. So you can see they are very similar. Let me uh, pull out some of the specs here. So let's see if we can face, look at this. I should do them at the same time. So this is the UV5R and it's from 65 to 108 uh, commercial radio FM. And then you can transmit and talk from 136 to 174, that's two meter. And then the 70 centimeter, you go 440 to 480, it's receive and transmit. So that does include the, uh, the GMRS. So if we go to the GT, and this one's on page 26. Here. All right, so this one, you can see, we've got the same frequencies, the 65, 108, uh, 108 to uh, 360. So this is receive only. And then 136 to uh, 174, that is receive only. And you've got 220, uh, the 400 to 520 receive, 350 to 390 receive. But you can only transmit from 144 to 148, that's the two meters, and then the 420 to, to 450. That does not include the GMRS. So that's kind of interesting here. Uh, you can see the uh, GT uh, 5R Pro has 128 channels of memory. So when I programmed them, I did program them about the same. Had to uh, remove a couple of the GMRS because I could not transmit on that on here. So you can just read through some of these other items. So the uh, next thing I want to do is I want to reduce the squelch on this because sometimes when i'm going for longer repeaters i try to uh you know if the signal comes back and the squelch is high it doesn't come in very good so let's go into menu which is down on the bottom here menu and squelch is menu zero so you can see i'm already there it's set to three so let's hit menu again Squelch. i can change it now i can't remember if it's yes it is i'm going to go to two confirm confirm and exit. So now I reduce the squelch from two to three. And now let's change the frequency 
on the bottom here and change it to name because when I programmed it with the chirp, I was able to put the names in. So let's go to menu. Menu. And that's going to be menu 22. So you can see uh, it's B, it's listed as frequency. Let's hit menu again. And now it says name. So if I confirm that, confirm. when I hit exit, you can see down on the bottom is now a name. So those are some of, they're very similar. It's the exact same way if I go on the UV5R. Menu. menu, squelch, I've got that set of three. Let's actually change that squelch. down to two. So they're both the same. Confirm. And then let's go menu. I wonder if I do 22. Yep, I can change B here. Menu. That goes to channel, so it'll list a channel. Let's see what that looks like. It lists channel off to the side. No, oh, I never confirmed that. Menu. Sorry about that. Whoops. Menu. Down here. Let's go to channel. Confirm. Confirm. Now you can see it lists channel 10 on there. So you can do the same thing on this one. Menu. I like having the names. So let's go back to name. Confirm. Confirm. Exit. Let's just make sure this one Menu. does do the, the channel. Yeah, see the channels right there? You could do the channel with that one. Confirm. So these are very similar. So now let's try. I've got a couple of repeaters. Here. I'm going to just start here and go further distance away. Distance doesn't always matter because uh, I know going towards Holly and Fenton, I've got some hills and a lot of trees. Those repeaters are not very high. I sometimes don't hit them. And depending on conditions, the Rensen, which is, is 37 miles away. Let's try those. Let's see if we can hit any, any of them. So I want to go first on, move this a little to the side. I'm on uh, channel A and B. If I switch, you can see the arrow drops to Flint down below. Let's stay up top there. And I'm gonna go zero, zero, one. And it brings it to the holly. Let's see if it, it hits it. KE8, UWI. It came back. So I did hit holly. Turned it up. So that hit without a problem. Let's do the same thing here. Let's go to the top. So this one is the UV5R and let's go zero, zero, one. All right, let's try it again. KE8UWI. Oh, that is actually the Clarkston. Why is that a different repeater? But it hit it. Ah, uh, that's on channel two. All right, let's try that again. K-E-8-U-W-I. Looking for a signal report. Go ahead and hit it too. You know, the volume almost seems a little louder on the UV-5R. I have this turned all the way up. Let's see what that does again. All right, so let's try channel two, which is the Fenton, which we are off channels here. One. So I'm off one channel. Let's use the GT first and go one, two, okay. one, two. All right. K-E-8-U-W-I looking for a signal report. So I hit here, it's coming back on both. You could almost hear when I was talking on here, you could almost hear me coming back on here. So let's hit this and let's see if it comes back on this one. KE8UWI looking for a signal report. So my signal getting in must be pretty light. It opens it, but you can't really hear it. I know maybe if I had the antenna up, it would work. So we know we're hitting out. That was 12 miles away. Let's go down to the Rensen. Let's do that. Actually, I'm going to do Top of Troy first. Channel 6. That's just this regular signal. Let me turn this down. Three. And four. Five. Six. Alright. So six, I think that will be.
channel seven on this one? Zero, zero, seven. All right, top of Troy, they're both there. Let's use the GT5R and let's see if we can hit, see if it comes through on this. KE8UWY, looking for a signal report. So it hit it, but my speech did not come through on this. So at 11, so when I do a power test, I'm going to test the power on both of these. I'm going to have it hooked up to the mag mount. Let's see what happens again when I do the mag mount coming through here. Because this has got that 15-inch antenna on. They both do. I bet with the better antenna, I'll have no problem. So let's go down. Let's do channel B. Let's see if we can hit the Rensen on here. I'm going to go channel B. And... Zero. One. Zero. And that did not do it. Zero, zero, nine. There we go. Channel nine on this. So you can see I'm off on my program, and that's channel nine, that's channel 10. But let's use the GT5R Pro, and let's see if we can hit the rent in. KE8UWI, looking for a signal report. M, amateur, radio, link, repeater, system, so, WW8GM, echo, link, nine, 37 nine, miles away. Eight, four, six which is very impressive that you can get that far. Um, it's at 800 feet above grade, which I think around there is 5, 590, and I'm about 1,000. So I've got a pretty good line of sight straight to that repeater. So you can see, let me do that with this one here. We'll see if it comes back on here, see if there's any difference. KE8UWI, looking for a signal report. So it hit, you can see it, it hit. Um, so they both are about the same, which is pretty interesting. So let me now turn the camera around or actually hook up my uh, SWR and the mag mount and I'll go on some simplex channels, check the power of both so you can see that on both two meter and 70 centimeters, see how much a different is. And then let's try the Rensen and Top of Troy again on both of these and see if a mag mount antenna makes a big difference. So let me get this turned around and uh, set up with the power meter. All right, we've got the Surecom hooked up here. I changed this to frequency so you can see what frequency we're on. So we are on two meter here. And this is the GT5R Pro. So let's see what kind of power comes out of here then. So power watts will be up top, frequency should be down here. So we're looking at 3.33 watts on that. I'm gonna compare that then to the, uh, to the uh, UV5R. So let me just write that frequency down, make sure I hit the same one, 146.55. Let's go up a channel. So now we're at 442.55, 4, 4, make sure we hit the same frequencies. All right, so let's see what we got here. So 442 and 3.39. So you're, you're under the five watts, you're only hitting three. There could be power loss through here. You can see that's the connection I've got. So, and this is connected to a mag mount. So give me a minute, let me switch to the, uh, to the uh, UV5R and we'll do the same thing and compare numbers. And then we'll put this back on without the, uh, the Surecom connected and let's see if we hit the repeaters any better with the mag mount. So give me a second. All right, so now we've got the UV5R here and I'm at 146.55. So 146.55, and you can see that is 5.58 watts. Let's go 442.55, and let's test this out here. Let's see what we got. 442.55, something happened there. Let me hit that again. 
All right, so 5.28 watts. All right. So you can see we are just over the five, but this does say eight watts. We don't even get the six on this. So let me uh, reconnect to the uh, mag mount directly and we'll, we'll uh, try to hit those repeaters again. All right, a couple more things too. So now you see we've got the GT5R Pro connected to the mag mount without going through the shortcom. A couple things I do want to note on here also, you just uh, press and hold. Lock. Oh, I just locked it. Unlock. You just press quick and see the L there? That's for low power. Nothing there is the high power. So I was just wanted to make sure I had this on high power when I did the power meter, and I did. And then you should be able to press and hold. Scanning beacon. You can scan. So you can see scanning picking up flint. I'm going to fast forward through four. I always get some... Oh, it does it automatically. It'll hit it for a while. So you can see it scans through the channels pretty good. That's, uh, it's nice to do. You can sit and just scan. So you can see somebody's working off that Flint 3 repeater. All right, so let me stop the scanning here. And, uh, go back to... Zero, zero, nine... So here's the Rensen. Let me put the Rensen back on here. This this one. So let's go menu, menu. Name. Let's get back to name. Oh, somehow I'm still on frequency. Menu. Oh, that's because that's on A. I want B. Confirm. Channel name. Confirm. Exit. All right. So they're both there. All right, so I've got Top of Troy and the Rensen listed here. I got them switched around here, so I'm I'm going to transmit on the mag mount uh, using the GT5R Pro and see if we can get it back through on here. So I'm on Rensen here. You can see by that arrow, and I've got the dual watch going here. K-E-8-U-W-Y, looking for a signal report. So that did not have my signal come through onto this. So let's go switch A to B, A to B. We'll use top of Troy. This is 22 miles away. The antenna's on top of a PNC bank building. So let's give that a shot. KE8UWI, looking for a signal report. So you can see I hit it, but as I was transmitting, it didn't come through. Let's hit, uh, let's put both of these on Holly and see if we can get them to come through here. So I don't remember what that zero, was. Zero, two. So that was two. Zero, zero, one. And that's one. All right, let's try it again. Again, this is the GT5R Pro through the mag mount. K-E-8-U-W-Y, looking for a signal report. So, again, through the mag mount, it hits the repeater, but you can't, can't hear it. So I'm going to switch them around. I'm going to do the same thing now using the UV-5R that's got a little more power and see what it does. So let me get things turned around here. All right, so now we've got the GT-5R Pro with the 15 inch whip on, we'll leave that down. And I've got the Baofeng UV5R connected through here to the mag mount. So let's try the Holly. I'm on Holly and Holly here. KE8UWI, looking for a signal report. <laughs> that one didn't even look like it hit either of them. And 
that one is only seven miles away. So let's go A, B. We've got the Rensen and the Rensen. K E eight U W I looking for a signal report. So again, I can hit it, but you can't hear through. And what's funny is I used this radio with the 15 inch whip standing on top of my uh, porch here. And I could hit it and people could hear me using just this whip. So you can see height makes a big difference. Um, I bet if I move that mag mount out of the way, it, right now, if for the line of the repeater, it's behind a uh, metal smoker. So that's probably not helping either And if I get some height. So let me uh, turn around here. We'll close out the video. Well, thanks for the reply. Uh, I'm up near Holly in Davisburg uh, using the handheld. It's only about three and a half watts going through the power meter. Attach it to a mag mount and... Uh, yeah, so the repeater here is about 13 miles, and then you're probably another 13 on the other side of the, the Pontiac repeater. Thanks for coming back. All right, thank you. KE8, UWI, 73s, listening. So you can see as I was cleaning up here with the GT5R Pro, I thought I'd try one more repeater. And of course, this time I get someone to come back. So I'll make sure we slide this in. Hopefully you could hear that. I didn't have the, uh, the, the uh, phone or the uh, camera set up quite right. But as you can see, the three and a half watts that we were getting out of, you know, checking with the SWR, does reach 13.9 miles away, a repeater that's in Pontiac. So, uh, and the other guy on the back end, he was out in uh, Detroit. So probably another 13 miles away. So just give you an idea what it can do. All right, so there we have it. I'd like to thank uh, Radiodity for sending the GT5R Pro with uh, some of the accessories there. As you can see from this, uh, both radios, the original UV5R and the GT5R Pro, they're pretty similar, little difference in frequencies. It's nice how you can scan through all of those. You can change names, you can change, uh, um, you know, the channel or frequency or the names. I like that. Um, you can do the, the quick copy of frequencies. So if you get a group of people, you can do the, uh, the one touch copy of everything. And I do like that they are also interchangeable for earpieces, um, headphones, and programming. So you can see my program was off one channel. I don't know how that happened. I got to figure that out. But I've got a CVS file uh, saved that I use for each of these. And I do need to switch between these two both have 128 channels. Some other radios do go up to 999. So I think that's what happened. I got a couple different CVS files. And um, also, if one doesn't take the GMRS, it won't take the CVS file in while it's programming. So we had to make some adjustments. I'll have to figure that out. So as you can see, they are both pretty similar. So you uh, find better packages for one or the other with either two radios, a couple batteries. Take a look for those. They are out there. We do have a link, uh, a uh, affiliate link with Radiodity that you can get... Uh, $15 off if you have a purchase of uh, $60, 60 or 65 take a look at that. So uh, click the link, search on their site, and there's a $15 coupon there through our affiliate link. So if you like the content on the channel, please like and make sure you subscribe. Again, thanks for watching Porty's Garage and having fun with the Baofang time.